Everyone, today I'll be reviewing Chaos Walking starring Tom Holland, Daisy Ridley, Matt Mickelson and this movie is directed by Doc Lemon. When this movie came out, oh, this movie was like hated by the critic. Uh, right now it's on Rotten Tomato. This movie score is so low. While I understand if I had to pay for this movie, my opinion on this movie will be really different because I saw this movie for free. My opinion is a little bit different than other people online. Mainly because I just watched it uh, for free. If I had to pay a penny for this movie, I would be really mad. That being said, I thought this movie was okay. Simply because this movie's idea, uh, like, you know, where uh, everything, all the men, so their inner thoughts are displayed, like, whatever that thing it is, like, for everyone to see, everyone's thought. It's in this movie, it's called Noise. And sometimes these noises can be very awkward in front of another person because where, whatever you are thinking, other person can simply hear it. Uh, some of the awkward scene in this movie really worked well, I thought, especially the way it was done. I thought, oh, it were like very awkward. Uh, I wish this movie explored more about this, like this thing like the noises, how do you control them? Uh, but this movie doesn't focus on that. It just shows you how much this uh, noises is damaging to their uh, society or their world. This movie mainly focuses on that. So I thought this idea for this movie to have this, uh, it was very interesting, I guess, something I never seen it. Uh, although this movie takes place in a fut futuristic world, uh, which when you see this movie, it, just, it doesn't feel like. Never? That being said, I thought in this movie Tom Holland and Daisy Ridley, both of them were really good in this movie, especially they were really charming on screen that this uh, you keep watching for them. So Tom Holland, honestly, he really tried his best in this movie, especially the script he was given, dialogue he was given, I feel like he really done really well. Uh, especially I really like him as Spider-Man Peter Parker. Of course, I liked him in this movie. Uh, he brought his charm to this movie. Uh, I thought really, he did really good job. Uh, his character I really liked because he never seen any girl in his life before. So when he sees Daisy Ridley character, the way he react and Daisy, I, I guess Daisy Ridley, he, her character name is Biola. The way Biola, she react in this movie, I wish her character had more depth to this movie but still i think and all the things she said about her past how she came to earth or should i say into that planet it was interesting all the like the back and forth this uh, character's conversation in this movie which is a large part for this movie were interesting there aren't many action scene in this movie all the problem in this movie solved very quickly that being said, what I did not like in this movie is Mad Mickelson character. I really was hoping he will have more to this movie, but his character is just one dimension character. He doesn't do many things in this movie at all. He's just the villain. He wants to take over her planet and that's about it. I guess uh, there is a huge twist at the end of this movie. Like when you learn about the twist don't want to give it away it's a spoiler but the twist i was it's oh it's interesting <laughs> didn't like add more depth to matt mickelson character or anything that one said david ulejo he was on also in this movie oh my god in this movie his character was like he's such a good actor but his character was really annoying what was he saying i did not understand all the things he was saying in this movie he was a priest i guess he was mad all the time he was just jabbering stuff End of this movie, I think he said something meaningful, but I didn't understand what was he saying. None of this character, they are actually talking that much because everything they are thinking is out display for people to see. But when I learned about the twist, I guess the twist wasn't shocking or anything. Uh, I must say the overall this movie, when I finished watching, well, it has some interesting concept here and there. Uh, overall, yeah, it is kind of like boring watch, honestly. Some places, it uh, this movie does slow down dramatically. Like it's just so slow, nothing is happening. Uh, is it, it, this movie reminded me of like there was another movie came out, another. Uh, oof, what was that movie? Monster Creature something like that. You know, they're basically going place to places in the jungle. Uh, 
I just wish that we learn more about all the other planet out there or all other world out there. Uh, it could have been really cool. Uh, overall, I, I, I still think this movie was okay. It isn't as bad as all these people said. Probably because they saw it in theater, so they have right to say all those things. Uh, because I saw it free, my opinion on this movie. Like, this movie actually felt like you something you watch free on a streaming service. Not something you want to pay, say, in theater. <laughs> Not that kind of movie. It's like, I felt like I was watching a Netflix-made movie, honestly. That is what I felt like when I was watching. Honestly, what can I say? That is my thought on this movie. This movie has interesting idea. Uh overall watch was okay but still the some places i had some scene in this movie i did felt boring <laughs> uh anyway, still i thought it was worth checking out because i'm a huge fan of tom holland uh that is my thought on this movie let me know in the comment what do you think about this movie and if you enjoyed my review don't forget to subscribe don't forget to leave me your comment and please take care